Welcome back to the Arabella Boathouse, and possibly the hardest way to learn how to sail ever attempted. As you've seen over the past few videos, things are going quickly in the shop, with many aspects of the build getting attention all at once. The help has been invaluable, but it's also expensive for a little YouTube channel like this one. So we hope you'll check out how you can become one of our beloved Patreon supporters, even if just for a couple of months as the launch date approaches. Any little bit helps. A huge thank you to all that have kept this project afloat over the years. With your generosity, Steve's crazy dream is almost ready for the next chapter. All right, we got the Agricola A team here today. Sounds like they're already hard at work fairing the hull. Let's go check it out. This is Robin's dad's whole construction crew. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, we did check out here. here. We're still working here. Does this need to be hit? That? Yeah, there's a little divot here, so I think it's more here and here that needs to be hit. Okay, I'll do it. We have David mocking up a propane box out of some plywood. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is the one that's going to go on this side of the uh, house top, between the mast and the house top. And I can't hear a thing. Right <laughs> None of us can. <laughs> Ninety-two days to go. <laughs> I want to trade. I want to hold the phone and you do this. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Yeah. I want his job. <laughs> oh, boy. You're going to have to fight me for it. <laughs> Don't bring me out of retirement. <laughs> Over on the starboard side, the screws along the rabbit weren't set deep enough. Steve on his first plank wasn't sure how much backing out would be needed, so these needed to be bored out a bit more and get fresh fasteners. Get your toilet bowl wax? Yeah. <laughs> And the box for the propane tank that David was mocking up will hold the spare tank. The one hooked up to the galley is right off the cockpit. For the most part, when cruising the coasts, the spare tank will probably live on shore, while this box on the foredeck holds fenders and lines. But when Arabella goes off grid for a while, it'll be a nice place to keep the extra cooking fuel.
Downstairs, Steve made adjustments to the starboard side staging to get ready for fairing the uppermost planks. Looks different, huh? It really does. It's the ridges that get to them. Yeah. I mean, look at how much you guys already got done. Yeah, we got a lot done for the hip compressor. That's good. It's not even new, is it? What's that? It's not even new. No. No, we did good. Yeah, working hard. It's looking exceptionally dusty. What's that? You say you're looking exceptionally dusty. <laughs> that means I've been working. Yeah. Probably covered, I'm going to guess. Great for the nostrils, good yeah. for the lungs. <laughs> What, you want to come with me or you want to, I'm going to go get sandwiches. There's a deli down the street I'm going to get sandwiches. You can come with me or? No, I'm going to keep working. All right, what would you like? Um, maybe like a small tuna fish. Tuna fish? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's like, I never even got one. Chicken. <laughs> this is trip number three. This is number three? <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. What would you say? I was like, I was laughing that this is his third break of the day. He was like, that checks out. <laughs> It's right over here. He worked really, really, really hard for a lot of years of his life. Yeah. And uh <laughs> How long do you think it's been since he last picked up a tool? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I haven't seen him like actually like go to work in the morning with like a tool belt in twenty five years. Yeah. Like, well, a long time, you know. Yeah. I was definitely like in high school he was more mostly like delegating and mm -hmm. just running the company. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be having fun though. Yeah. You having fun? We got dusty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dusty. We got dusty. Just Slightly. <laughs> I can't I can hear like this. <laughs> Nothing like Farron and Oak Hall. Mm -hmm. It's coming along quickly though. Yeah. For some so, reason I had this in my head like, oh, it's going to take a week to... If I did it by myself, it'd be about a week. Yeah. Yeah.
After a busy Saturday grinding through the hull with John and his crew, Steve spent Sunday on his own, finishing up and attaching the port side tow rail. And then Satchel was back at it inside the boat, taming the electrical systems wire by wire. That's amazing. What's far? I mean, right? All of it. Yeah, I marked this yeah, one on the side. Yeah, I marked this 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 one We determined that the best strategy was just, I mean, this one, the pigtails are lost and corroded. Okay. If we can just replace all three of the, the bayonets. The, the bases, yeah. and yeah. then maybe use these lights, but yeah. not necessarily. Right. So I'm going to sit on my throne and, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab me a little screwdriver. Maybe flathead. Oh, yeah, those are crusty. Oh, yeah. While KP took a look at the navigation lighting, volunteers upstairs worked through the dead eyes, which will soon be used to tighten up Arabella's rigging. And on the other side of the bench, Steve was shaping the companionway rails out of cherry. These will end up with a locust cap with plastic runners that the hatch will slide on. Steve had started assembling all the materials a few days before. He planned to use what remained of the live oak stock for the sill and the drop board rails. Where else is there live oak? Samson post, mm -hmm. stern knee, um, mizzen messed up. Hard doing the detail work in live oak. forward stop on the hatch suddenly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I gotta back. cut the groove over here yeah. for the half round to yeah. go. And then I think I'm gonna cut a dado on the inside. Yeah. And I'm gonna put um, four pieces of plastic or lignum vitae mm. um, that go over and ride in those slots. Okay. And then that can be the stop. Can be the stop on both directions well coming forward the dam in the back will be the stop pulling out this pulling out yeah. yeah yeah and then going forward yeah um it would either 
hit back there or I can put those stops in. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Nice small hatch bar too. Hmm? This is nice and small. It's good. Yeah, by the time you gotta have gets, somewhere to put it. This gets cut off, it's pretty small. Yeah. Nothing worse than like the Catalina 30 hatch, which is this one. And you're pulling out like <laughs> huge boards. It's like nice, the hatch is wide, but where do I put this? Yeah. What finish I want to put on that? What order of operations we need to do? Whether we should varnish first or finish building first? Or do we should wait till the weather's warm enough and I can get this bedded in and solidified? Just you a know, few things. Just a few things. <laughs> cables in this distribution box. So we pulled a bunch of cables from the four peak and the settee and set the conduit here far into this box and now we have a terminal block, two terminal blocks that we connect the cables from there that go and then the other cables that go out here and over to the next. So we're hoping to be able to get some more lights and pumps and stuff fully connected all the way from the load to the distribution to the distribution box and then to the nav panel or breaker panel and then put the top on this box and button it up be done with it yeah sure. until we're not until we're not exactly got our battery box built this little pine shelf for our Lynx distribution to sit on. We'll have wires running down into here and into our inverter and then up to our nap and fuses. Some house Trying to dig out some off cuts. Thanks. Is this live oak? No, this is white oak. These are from the keel timber. What are these pieces for? Uh, stem and stern blocks to terminate the tow rail. Thanks. I need something that's seven inches tall and at least four inches thick and 20 inches long. That was a big tree. Yeah.
That's our kill timber. Very nice. Okay. Cause this has got to go. That'll be up. Right um, about here. Yeah. I know I could just set kind of one giant block in there. Yeah. Or I could do two ends and leave it open out the middle. I don't know. These are the things I have to figure out. So I can get the forward two out of this one for sure, I think. Yeah. To get that plane down. And then we'll decide what I want to do with the stern. Not really the drastic color change that I was hoping for, you know? No, it's not a start. I think give it a day, though. Yeah, you might as well just do the whole tow rail again. Yeah. Well, there's some more gloves if you want to grab I, I will. I'm, <laughs> I just want to get as much footage as I can. No, yeah. We, that was the sure we that. one thing this morning Ben wanted was a lot of this. <laughs> Now all the hatch, what? 
Should I oil the hatch? Yeah, why not? If you liked today's video, don't forget to click that like button for us. And if you're new to the channel, become a subscriber and come back to check progress every Friday. And again, help Steve have one less thing to be stressed about and check out our Patreon page to help support the project in the last push toward launch. No swearing on television. <laughs> yes, you're having a wonderful time. I am actually. When I don't think about how long I've spent trying to terminate these wires. <laughs>